Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Pursuing Your Best in the Salon webinar. I'm Stephanie Anderson, and I have been a licensed stylist for over 20 years. I have practiced trichology and natural health since 2013. I am certified in non-surgical hair replacement and medical hair loss. I am the resident specialist at the Hair Treatment Center inside Trinity Lace Weeks Unisex Salon, located in San Antonio, Texas. I'm also the hair replacement coach. I train other licensed professionals in the expertise of non-surgical hair replacement, and this training allows them to be competitive with the corporate big boys in hair replacement. Now, as always, I just want to thank each and every one again for attending today's quick webinar, and it actually looks as if Everyone is now in attendance. Now, thank you for your promptness. So before we get started, let me tell you that this is an interactive webinar. Today, please get a pen and pencil, just something to write with and on. As you all know, I welcome any questions you may have. So remember to put your phones on mute. And you can also chat your questions or simply email them to me at Customer Care, that's C U S T O M E R C A R E, at TrinityLaceWigs.com. So let's get started. Today's session is going to be quick, but that doesn't mean it's not important. Now, this information is going to help you pursue your best in every aspect of your profession. I believe the ability to honestly self-evaluate ourselves on a regular basis supports us in our continued growth as professionals. As we get busy working with some, you know, sometimes we forget to hold ourselves to a higher level of standard. We should always want to be striving to be the best professionals uh, we can be each and every day. So today I would like to propose that we evaluate ourselves uh, in using um, a rating system. We're going to use a one point to five point rating system. Now, it's really easy, and to make things easier, here is what the numerical scale means. So a rating of one is what? I didn't even think about that. You get it? So it's like, no, I don't do that. Uh, but, yeah, I should be doing that. Or at the same time, at the other end of the spectrum, a score of five means, yes, I do that constantly and consistently. I do it with every guest or client every single time. Or you just may find yourself somewhere in the middle. Uh, you can give yourself a two, a three, or even a four, depending on how often you that sometimes happen, okay? <laughs> so let's get started. I'm hoping that you will utilize this rating as a tool for you to help yourself improve. Now, today's openness um, and honesty will serve your long-term success, okay? Are you ready? Good. Did you get your pen and paper I mentioned earlier? Great. So let's go. One, your professional image. Remember, we have discussed previously how you never get a second chance to make a first impression. So my question is, are you dressing to the level of the type of guest you choose to serve? Remember the old saying, dressing to impress? Now, I'm not talking about your Sunday go-to-meeting attire, but are there stains, wrinkles, or holes? Would you go out on a first date? wearing what you wear to your salon, your barber shop, or your hair treatment center? Is your hair or makeup done? Take a second to score yourself. Two, your professional greeting. Do you walk up to every guest, greet them with a smile, and walk with them back to your workstation? Are you using proper grammar or are you saying something like, hey, girl, I'll be with you in a minute? Take a minute to score yourself. Okay, number three, preparing for excellence daily. Are you arriving to work a minimum of 15 minutes prior to your start to prepare for your day? 
are you looking over your schedule, determining what's in it for the day, and then creating the possibility for success? Do you consider how many guests will book in advance? How many will purchase your retail items? And who can possibly be an upsell to? Take a minute and score yourself. Remember, the rating is one to five. Number four, seeking referrals. Are you asking for referrals or just handing out a card and hoping they read it? Do you remember my three-card club? Or can you update your offer to acknowledge the guests with each person they send in? For example, um, when you refer a friend, I'll put a $10 into your account to spend in any way you want as a thank you. If this is something that you can do when they send a referral, do you send your client a personal thank you? Take a minute to score yourself. Number five is your workstation appearance. Is your workstation as clean with the fifth guest as it was with your first? Do you make sure that every client or guest feels like the first and only client with a swept floor, a clean mirror, a spotless station, products wiped down, and looking new? Take a minute to rate yourself. Number six, conducting consultations. Do you start every guest with a series of open-ended questions to determine their service needs? Now, this allows you to offer new products, services, and solutions. Yes, even to your seasoned clients. And today, the consultation will, will earn you a one if you're saying, what are we doing today? Or, are we doing the same service as last time? As a professional, you have to stay in charge by offering professional advice and suggestions. Take a minute to score yourself. Seven. This is good stuff, right? I know. Seven, educating your clients or guests. Now, in order to earn a five in this area, you must first let your clients or guests know You will be educating them through your service. And secondly, make sure you educate them about every product you are using on them to create their looks or effects. You do this from beginning to the end. Take a minute to score yourself. Number eight is an invitation to retail. Do you know and incorporate the success secret? We've discussed that. If not, I will let you in on it, okay? Here it is. The secret is if you have educated them, all you need to do is make the offer. It's as simple as that. Now, these are the products we talked about, and you choose what you need, and that's it. Do you invite your guests to take home your recommendations, yes or no? Take a minute to score yourself. Number nine, advanced booking. Are you asking, did you want to schedule your next appointment? If so, give yourself a score of one. Or are you telling them when you need to see them again? I need to see you again in two weeks, and that's the week of this month and date. Advanced booking is 50% of your guests ensures that you are serving your guest needs. With that, take a minute to score yourself. Professional development, number 10. Are you taking technical trainings at least two times a year? That's just two times a minimum a year. Are you taking soft skill training or people skills at least once a year? That's once annually. This is to stay at the top of your game You have to do everything you can to keep your communication and technical skills sharp. Take a minute to score yourself. Okay? So that's the assessment. As I told you, we were going to have a quick session today. 
wasn't that easy. Now, all you have to do is add all your scores together, and out of a possible 50 points, how did you do? Okay, choose the two or maybe three places that you scored the lowest and start today working on becoming more effective. That's it, okay? Start today. Take the lowest scores, maybe in two to three places, and start working on becoming more effective. Now, as always, if you need support or have any questions, feel free to email me, Stephanie Anderson, at customercare at trinitylacewigs.com, C-U-S-T-O-M-E-R-C-A-R-E at trinitylacewigs.com. Take care, everybody, and as always, more hair. Goodbye. Have a blessed day.